Hello, Friar fans. I'm Nick Rojas, and today I'm joined by a senior member of the men's basketball team, Chris Dunn. Chris, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing all right. So first off, you've been a busy guy this summer. What have you been up to the past few months? Uh, just working hard with the, uh, the group of guys that's here. Uh, we've been working out with Guy Sham Guy. He does an unbelievable job with the workouts, and now we're all just getting better. Now, your decision to come back to Friartown was a really celebrated one around here. What do you think to you what was one of the key factors for you to come back and play one more season for the Friars? Um, the main reason was I wanted to be a good role model for my two little sisters. Uh, you know, let them see me graduate. Um, so when they're ready, uh, they know the path to go on. And uh, I, just want, I just need another season under my belt, uh, learn a lot more from the coaching staff. And uh, we got a group of guys uh, who's willing to work, so I just wanted to be with them. You have an incoming freshman class here, a good group of sophomores that got some experience last year. What are you expecting out of some of the younger guys as you get ready for the start of the season coming up? Uh, the same thing the coach expects from them, um, just to come and work hard every day, um, be able to listen, and uh, just be confident when you're on the court. Uh, whoever's the shooters, be a knockdown shooter. Um, whoever's supposed to play great defense, be a good defender. I mean, just know your game and know your role, and uh, we should be fine. Now, some of our viewers may know this, may not know this. You spent some time out in California. Uh, it's my understanding that you were lucky enough to take a yoga class on the beach. Uh, is there a pose that you could uh, do right now for us? Uh, what do you think you learned? Uh, yeah, uh, LeBron James, he was a great instructor. Uh, he taught us a couple of things. Um, I don't know, there was like, I mean, there was a couple, but like, <laughs> I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't too good at it, but. No, no. There was one like, I don't know if you all ever seen like the Soldier Boy dance, but it was like a Superman one. Like you had to stretch the back. Yeah. And then it was like, they call it the warrior. You just gotta like. Oh, that's, yeah, that's like know. one of the more famous ones. Yeah. You just like, for it. <laughs> I don't know, it's something like that. But um, that might be the twist to it. Right, yeah. Yeah, at the end, yeah. But uh, it was definitely fun. Uh, California, uh, I think everybody should be able to like, you know, have a vacation over there. Uh, the beach is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, we was in Santa Monica, so it was, a, it was just a great experience. Yeah, over by uh, Muscle Beach out there. Santa Monica, yeah, is really nice. Right. Yeah, especially in the summertime. Uh, now, we might have made it sound like you, it was all vacation out there, but it wasn't. You were out there to work. Uh, who are you most excited about meeting out there at the uh, Nike Basketball Academy? I mean, it was the superstars who play in the NBA today, but uh, also some Hall of Famers like Gary Payton, uh, Scotty Pippen, Scotty Pippen, Bruce Bowen, uh, Brian Shaw, and then my favorite part was we got to play with some of the superstars today, like LeBron James, Demar Derozan, Demarcus Cousins, James Harden. I mean, guys that everybody familiar with, and uh, it was just a great experience for all of us, um, just to see what it takes to be an NBA player. All right, yeah, I mean that that sounds amazing. I mean, some of those guys you're so used to seeing on TV, I could only imagine seeing right. them in person playing the game. All right, now let's jump into some fun questions here. Summer is a big time for. Movies, what was the last movie you saw in theaters and uh, what'd you think of it? Uh, Ted 2. Uh, mm. I went there with somebody, I, I, I forgot who, but it was somebody. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, mm. No, uh, it was pretty funny. Uh, yeah. Mark Wahlberg, we call him Marky Mark because he's from Boston. Uh, yeah. He does a phenomenal job. I mean, he's very funny. And uh, yeah. whoever did Ted, I don't know who the little Terry Bitter is, but he's yeah. hilarious in the movie. And uh, I, I saw it too, and you know, you said Marky Mark's good. It's one thing to be funny. It's another thing when you're acting with something that isn't even there. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Ted, yeah. You think the whole time like, oh, the teddy bears there, and then you realize teddy bears can't talk. I get what you're saying. Yeah. The lesson for all the viewers out there: teddy bears can't speak. So if you learned anything from watching this video today, that's one of them. Just the truth. Uh, so quickly, you have like a unique three-point celebration. Uh, it's like. Right. Oh, wait, wait. It's like that to that. Could you tell us about the, right. the meaning behind yeah. that? The three, and then you throw your L's oh, Okay. Um, the three, everybody does it. Some people do this, some people like shoot it. So a three is just a, a normal thing, but I do the flip and I throw up the L's from my city, New London. Um, everybody know I'm a city guy. Uh, I love my city and the city love me. So, I mean, every time I hit a three, it's for my city, so. See, they called me from my town, the town jester. So <laughs> I gotta represent somehow. So anytime I get a B plus on an exam, I'm like. <laughs> I gotta think of something though, right. you know. The B, maybe when I get to A plus level, right. I can figure that out. All right, so uh, I see right now uh, what kind of pair, what kind of pair of sneakers oh, you're wearing right now? These the Nike Hirachis. I yeah. got these yesterday. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, maybe pull them up on camera there. All right. right, so if you could wear one pair of sneakers for the rest of your life, which pair would it be and why? I know everyone's got a favorite. Right, the Retro Sevens, the Black and Gold Champagne Poppies. That's a great shoe. Uh, you can see it from far away, like, yeah. it's that good. Like, it's bright because like, well, of the gold, so. Yeah. I mean, yeah, if you see me around campus, no, not to step on those. You, you step on a champagne pop, you're going to be very upset. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> uh, so I've heard you're a big fan of NBA 2K. I played a lot of 2K this weekend, as I'm sure right. a lot of your teammates do as well. 
Uh, Who would be your first player you'd pick in a fantasy draft? And uh, which of your teammates do you beat the most when you play? First player I'd pick is Kevin Durant. Mm. Um, some people would pick LeBron, don't know why in no. 2K. Maybe in real life, but in 2K, no. He's a disgusting shooter. He cannot shoot in a video game. Kevin Durant, on the other hand, I mean, woo, that man could go. Yeah. He's all over the court. Man range, three-point shots, dunk. So that would be my first pick. Absolutely. But um, all my teammates know, uh, it's no secret. Uh, the world should know I'm the best 2K player there is. Um, oh. I annihilate everybody. So the answer is the entire roster, who you beat the most? Oh, everybody. I, uh, mean, it's, it's, I mean, LaDante, him, me, used, me and him used to go like back yeah. and forth because we used to play a lot of games, but then I went on a hot streak. I beat him like 40 games in a row. All right, so well